every time a transaction occurs in a business. This transaction must be recorded in the company's books. When recording transactions in accounting, we record the effects that a transaction will have on each account. It is important to note that for every transaction, there will always be two accounts which are affected. Let's go back and look at scenario A again. Seppel wants to start a photography business. He has 3,000 Rand. He puts the 3,000 Rand into his business. This is called a capital contribution. Capital contribution means that the owner of the business puts money or goods into the business. This money will be stored in that company's bank account. Seppel needs to buy a camera in order to be able to take photographs, which he will then sell. The camera costs 13,000 Rand. Seppel's business loans 10,000 Rand from NetBank. Now his business has 13,000 Rand. He uses the 13,000 Rand to buy the camera from PhotoWorld. Jane hires Seppel to take photos of her wedding, and Seppel makes 2,000 Rand. Let's look at the transactions in this scenario. The first transaction that occurs is when Seppel puts 3,000 Rand into his new business. When an owner puts money into a business, we call this transaction a capital contribution. We have already learned that this is a type of equity account. If you do not know this, you need to go back to Chapter 1 and revise the classification of accounts. If we go back to our analogy of a business as a square, we will show the 3,000 Rand on the red side in the equity block. Remember, this side tells us where the business got its money from. We will call the account a capital contribution. Remember, for every transaction, there must always be at least two entries. We already know that both sides of the square must be equal to each other. We can see that the blue side is not equal to the red side. So we need to record the second entry. When Seppel puts 3,000 Rand into his company, his company gained that money. When a company receives money, this money is put into the company's bank account. Therefore, we will have an account called bank. Bank is an asset. When the company gains money, their bank will increase. Therefore, we will go to the blue side, we will fill in our asset bank, and we will increase by 3,000 Rand. Now we can see that both sides are equal to one another. Let's look at this using the accounting equation. Assets equal equity plus liabilities. We can see that 3000 Rand is equal to 3000 Rand plus zero. Therefore, our account balances. The second transaction that occurs in this scenario is when Seppo's business loans 10,000 Rand from NetBank. When Seppo gets the money from NetBank, he is loaning that money. This means that he owes NetBank and he must pay them back. This is a type of liability account. We will record this under the account name Loan. The second account that we will deal with will be Bank. This is because when Seppo's company gets the money from NetBank, his company will store that money in its own bank account. Bank is an asset and it will increase by this money. Remember, for every transaction, there must always be at least two entries. Let's see what our square would look like now. We can see that both sides are equal to one another. Let's look at this using the accounting equation. Assets equals equity plus liabilities. We can see that 10,000 Rand is equal to 10,000 Rand plus zero. Therefore, we can see that the accounting equation balances. The third transaction that occurs in this scenario is Tsepo's business buys a camera from PhotoWorld for 13,000 Rand and he pays cash in full. When Tsepo buys the camera, he is gaining an asset in the form of equipment. He purchases the camera for 13,000 Rand. Therefore, his equipment or his asset will be worth 13,000 Rand. When Seppel buys the camera from PhotoWorld, he pays cash. This means that money is leaving the company's bank account. His bank will decrease by 13,000 Rand. In this transaction, 
we can see that we have only dealt with the blue side of the box. In other words, we have only dealt with assets. We can see that both sides of the box are still equal. This is because 13,000 Rand, subtract 13,000 Rand, is equal to zero. Let's look at the accounting equation. Assets equals equity plus liabilities. We can see that positive 13,000 Rand, subtract 13,000 Rand, is equal to zero plus zero. Therefore, our equation balances. The fourth transaction that occurs is when Sepo's business provides the service of taking photos at Jane's wedding and earns 2,000 Rand. When Sepo's company gets paid, the money will be put into the company's bank account. We can record this in the account called bank. We have already learned that bank is a type of asset. The bank account will increase by this 2,000 Rand because Sepo's company has earned the 2,000 Rand. The second account which will be affected by this transaction is income. By providing a service and taking the photographs, the company has made an income. Income is a type of equity account. It will increase by 2,000 Rand. This is because income is good for my business. Let's see what our square would look like. We can see that both sides are equal to one another. Let's look at this using the accounting equation. Assets equals equity plus liabilities. We can see that 2,000 Rand is equal to 2,000 Rand plus zero. Therefore, our equation balances. We have come to the end of chapter one. It is important that you have learned to classify all accounts as either an asset, equity, or liability account. If you are confused at any point, I would suggest going back to the beginning and re-watching the video, as some of this information can be overwhelming to students who have never done accounting before. We will now be going on to chapter 2, where we will look at the accounting equation in more detail as it is asked in the exam.